Science program. Um, we were really excited to try growing mushrooms. We've never done that, or I've never done that with seed leaf before. You know, we have lots of vegetables growing here, lots of greens, tomatoes, classic things like that. And so I was really excited to try something new, especially since, you know, not everybody loves every single vegetable and mushrooms can be grown, you know, not in our really sunny spaces. And, you know, they can be grown under our trees and um, they can help bring in more life to our gardens and make it more of a natural area that's healthy and organic and you know just better overall for the wildlife that's nearby and makes our green spaces a lot better. I love mushrooms and I love to grow them outside especially because they have that vitamin D in there and they're just delicious. I've had oyster mushrooms before but not until recently and once we get those wine cap mushrooms up I'm really excited to try those as well. Um, but mushrooms are one of my favorite foods and I'm really excited to try and grow them. Um, most kids, you know, we get some that are really excited about things growing and some that are really not. Um, we really don't even like vegetables and don't really understand what a plant is and what a fungus is and what the difference is. So to have a totally new experience in the garden that's not just dirt and leaves and roots and things that's a totally different, um, almost alien experience is really exciting. Um, and it's whole new flavors too, like we like to bring in that part too, the culinary aspect, they're cooked differently, they taste different. And so yeah, it really adds overall to what we do. Yeah. Um, I've definitely eaten mushrooms before, like weekly almost. And tonight for dinner, we're having stir fry with mushrooms. Oh yeah, I've, I've eaten mushrooms before, yeah. But um, I never like figured out like the process of how they actually grow them. So to actually see this happen, it's pretty interesting. Um, this is definitely something I would try at home. The um, was really fascinating the process of the how and how much time it takes to get mushrooms. Even though we didn't like see mushrooms, it was still interesting to put them, to perform the process hands-on instead of like going to a store and like buying a package. Because when you buy them from the store, you don't really think about how long it will, how long it took for that uh, package of mushrooms to actually grow. Uh, for me, all this is like a, it was a new experience. It was pretty fun to learn a lot of new things. Uh, the mushrooms, yeah, I didn't really know much about it. And then like, actually experiencing like, the process of how you actually like grow the mushrooms, all that. It's, I didn't know about it. It's, it's very like, very cool to like, just learn about it. And then uh, I guess something I realized is like, it takes a lot of patience, right? Just to wait for not even just the mushrooms, but like anything in general, it just takes time to grow. And sometimes it just doesn't like work out as you would expect it to. And uh, yeah, I would definitely uh, do this again. Uh, I just learn new things like every time. And yeah, I might try doing the mushroom stuff myself actually. Yeah.